Hey guys, Mel the Train Tutor here with another tutorial for you. Uh, and in this tutorial, we're sort of looking at, well, frugal foliage. Specifically, what you call it? Uh, tall grass and reeds and bush scrub and that sort of stuff. Now, I've been working on these bases over here, yeah, and I need some tall grass for them. So I've been working on these. There you go. Okay, and these are tall grass bushes. They are stuck at the bottom using a little bit of hot glue and trimmed, and they're going to be glued down on there. Now, these are actually made, yeah, out of grass. Now, before I jump into it, tall grass, because I'm getting ramble in here, yeah. Now, we all know what these are, or you should know pretty much what these are, yeah. You know, synthetic, what you call it, uh, and hobby tall grass. Yeah, you, you take it out, you trim it, you glue the bottom, you stick it down. It looks like nice tall grass, yeah? £2.75 a pack, which isn't really expensive when you think about how much you get in there. But there's a lot cheaper options. So what I thought I'd do is we'd do a quick video and we'd talk about the different options and I'd show you a few options. Now, first off, yeah, the freest of free type of frugal foliage you know, when it comes to tall grass. Now, obviously, I've done these, yeah? This is grass, okay? Proper grass, as in, you know, wild grass, the stuff with the seeds and the blossom at the top. Okay, now if I show you this, now what I've got here, let me bring that nice and close. See how it's grass? All I did was last summer I collected an absolute load of this stuff up, yeah? And while it was still sort of fresh, I grabbed my hands, pulled all the seeds and the blossom off, etc. And then I just put it in the oven after, what you call it, after we'd cooked a, a Sunday meal. So it was just in a hot oven, not the oven wasn't on. Yeah, dried it out and then what you, just simply cut it down to size. Now this is free. The only problem is obviously you've got to wait till summer to get it. Yeah, because that's when it's in season. In season, yes. Grass, it's in season in summer. <laughs> it's not a bloody strawberry. <laughs> But yeah, so dead simple, dead cheap, yeah, grass. Doesn't come cheaper than free. Okay, moving on, we've got other sorts of things. Now, you, what you can do is you can use these sort of brushes, these sort of bristles, yeah. Well, that is Chinese hog's hair, okay. Uh, natural hair brushes are pretty normally either Chinese hog's hair or their, what you call it, uh, badger hair. Badger's slightly more expensive. They run quicker than the, the hogs do in China. But that's hog hair, okay? Now, you know for a fact that these sort of cheapo brushes, you can buy an entire pack for, of them for like a dollar or a pound, you know, in the dollar store or the pound shop, depending on which side of the Atlantic you are, you're on. Yeah, or you may be in Australia. I'm assuming you have a dollar shop in Australia because you have dollars, don't you? Yeah, I think you do. I gave up the pound wrong but obviously yeah just like any other what you call it uh any other material it's just a matter of cutting it gluing it sticking it down now the real advantage of using uh hog's hair is that what you call it it absorbs water this is why these brushes are useless with uh, really bad when working with things like emulsion latex paint in the u.s uh, pva any water-based products because they soak up moisture now for, for what you have, for tall grass, it works great because it means you can stain these. You can mix them in with different colours of greens, etc. They'll soak up the colour and with a little bit of experimentation, you'll be able to make a whole array, yeah, of tall grass. Yeah, just for what you have, for a dollar, for a pound, for whatever the pack costs. So these are really good, hog hair brushes. Yeah, really cheap, they absorb moisture, so keep your eye on those. Yeah, what else have we got? Right. Going bigger, yeah, moving on to things like kitchen brushes. Look at all that. Look at all that. Look at, just look at all that tall grass. There's tons of it. And it's, it's so big. Look, it's brilliant. Let me get a clipper. too much for my hands there. Look at that. Perfect, isn't it? Absolutely perfect. Already in clumps, which is genius. Okay, and now this from my local cheapo store, yeah, £2.50. 
25p cheaper than that. It's a no-brainer, guys. Not just that, what you can do is you can, you can get one of these and selectively cut little bits off it, yeah? Then put it together with a brush and tell the wife that you've got a new brush. <gasps> Bonus, yeah? Take, what you call it, the £2.50 out of her money, yeah? And then it's free! How good is that? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you've got yard brushes, there's all sorts of brushes, but basically what you want to be doing is you want to be looking for the natural fibre ones. Yeah, these are actually reeds, I think. They look like it. Yeah, don't go for the plastic synthetic ones. You can use those, but they don't paint well, they don't, you can't stay them, you know. This this stuff will soak up watch up moisture and you can paint it, etc. as well. Obviously not as good as this stuff because it's a lighter base than this but you can. Yeah, then finally moving on, what we've got is, yeah, doormat. Now, doormat is very commonly used here. Uh, no, you're right. Yeah, doormat is very commonly used for, what you call it, representing hedges, which is what I'm doing here, you know, see, there's a hedge. Yeah, we'll put it on a base, put a bit of clump foliage, that sort of stuff, it'll look great. Yeah, but at the same time, they are Lots and lots of individual clumps, which means you can grab a clump. I'm going to have to do a new hedge now because I'm going to rip this one out, aren't I? Yeah, so grab a clump. Yeah, get my clippers. Yeah, nice and clean. Don't you hate those rogue ones? Really nice, realistic, what you call it, bush scrub. Yeah. So there you are, guys. There are some really quick and easy ways of, what you call it, of getting tall grass, reeds, bush scrub for free. Yeah, or next to nothing. Yeah, you've got free grass. You've got cheapo hog's hair brushes. You've got yard brushes and kitchen brushes. You've got mats. Now, what I'm gonna say is, I don't believe this is all the ways, they're only the ways I currently know of, but I'm always interested in more ways. So listen, guys, yeah, you know I always reply to my comments, but, and the comments ask any questions and all that sort of stuff. But really, if you've got any other ways of coming up with tall grass, yeah, throw them in the comments. Also, what shall it, uh, Getting a bit off track there. Sorry guys, I had a bit of a senior moment then. Uh, right, uh, yeah, these are the ways that you can do the tall grass. If you've got any other ways, throw them in the comments, guys. As always, yeah, like if you've liked the video, you know, comment. If you've got any questions, throw them in the comments. I always answer my, I always answer my comments. Uh, also, the Terrainiacs Terrain Group is going really strong. We're almost up to 300 members and there's loads of support and really good you know, terrain builds in it. Yeah, the link is in the description for that Facebook group. Finally, if you know anyone you might, who thinks, what you call it, who likes this sort of stuff, and you, you know, share it if you think you've got someone. Oh, yeah, I am really rambling today, aren't I? I can't do this. All right, guys, listen, I've got to crack on with this project. I hope you found this in interesting. Anything to say, throw it in the comments. Yeah, and I'll see you soon. Have a good one, yeah, guys. All the best. Ta-da!